suppose in ancient times, every village had their own basket maker and supplied the locals with all the baskets that they needed from the general baskets to the measuring baskets, the storing baskets and the baskets that went on the ships. So I'd really like to get back to that. The difference with our product, it's, it is also for supplying, um, offering local jobs, but we're also working with the uh, Scottish Willow. So I, I get the benefit of the peaceful mind and I'm making a product that I can sell and people get the benefit of a beautiful product that they can use for years on end. For years on end, not just a few years. And like a human being, um, at the end of life they go back down to the earth. I've always made baskets, or I've done felting, I've always done something. Um, and then I've had the privilege of working with three people at the end of life where they've taken their last breath and then I thought, oh, I could make I could make a big basket and when I looked um, researched and saw willow coffins I took myself off on a course and actually really loved it because it's a it's a five hour meditation walking around a coffin so I really really got into it <laughs> I've had um, quite a few people come in while we've made the coffins and they've taken part in making it some people have made their own completely from start to finish they've come and spent about four days here and made the whole coffin and gone away with it and then some people have just come and they've wanted to line it for a relative or decorate it with ribbons. I had a, a bunch of young men came and put loads of ribbons on their mum's coffin, which was really quite moving because they were only very young. Um, I've had a, a lovely lady came and made a massive felt piece and she's going to be wrapped up in her own blanket and buried on the willow plinth, not in a coffin, just in a big blanket that she made from local sheep. It goes out of the workshop and that person's not there anymore. <laughs>